Are you interested in improving your tennis fitness? In other words, do you want to improve your endurance so that you can last longer in matches and play better at the end of matches? Well, I've got a solution for you. My name is Jeff Salzenstein, the founder of Tennis Evolution and former top 100 ATP player. And one of the reasons that I broke the top 100 in the world is that I started working with a fitness trainer and a motivational coach that helped me get to the next level. And I want to introduce you to him today. Now, Quick story before I tell you who it is. I was at the Australian Open and I qualified in the Australian Open, which is one of the hottest tournaments of the year in terms of temperature. And I trained with this gentleman for six weeks in Los Angeles before the Australian Open and he got me, no doubt about it, got me in the best shape of my life. And how do we do it? We rode the bike, among other things. His name is Paul Pisani, and not only did he train me and get me in the best shape of my life to qualify at the Australian Open, but he's also worked with Justin Gimmelstab, Amir Delic, Ashley Harkle Road, Marissa Irvin, uh, Robert Kendrick, many top 100 American players he's touched. He's been the behind the scenes guy, the coach that's helped people with their, their head game and with their fitness. Now I've got one more story for you about Pauly P and how he helped a, an American player get to the semis of the US Open. His name was Robbie Ginepri, and they started working together about six to eight weeks before the US Open. And he started working with him on the bike, again, with his head game and on the bike, getting him in the best shape of his life. And that was the year that Robbie had his career best Grand Slam result. He won three five set matches, including beating Guillermo Coria, ended up losing to Agassi in the semis. And Paul Pisani was with him behind the scenes, training him every day, preparing him. That six to eight week time frame was the secret sauce for Robbie Ginepri during that time. And I wanna pass this over to Paul E.P. right now, where he's gonna teach you the three reasons why you could use the bike to help you with your tennis fitness and help you get to the next level. Well, thank you, Jeff, for that very kind introduction, and thank you so much for inviting me to contribute at Tennis Evolution. So many of you who are watching right now, uh, the main interest that we all share is how can we get better at tennis? So uh, Jeff and I have been discussing uh, about how I may be able to contribute. And I told him, I said, Jeff, well, let's just cut right to the chase. Uh, you and I both know that I come from a cycling background and I always thought cycling was very similar to tennis. And so I thought it would be a great idea to tell you, the viewer of Tennis Evolution, the top three reasons of how a riding a bike can help your tennis game. So in today's first video, we're going to do just that and let's get right into it. The number one reason why bike riding is great training for tennis is because cycling is low impact. When you're playing tennis, when you're running, when you're jumping, those are known as high impact activities. High impact activities can cause major stress to your joints, like your knees, your hips, your spinal cord. So cycling actually complements tennis and that it is actually no impact. So you can stress out your muscles in a very safe way, rest, recover, and have them come back a lot stronger. The number two reason is that riding a bike enhances your aerobic and anaerobic systems. We all know that tennis can be very tiring over a certain amount of time. You're sprinting to the ball point after point after point. Sometimes matches can last one to three hours and then you have to come back the next day and play. Riding a bike the right way, doing intervals and different zone interval training can help enhance those systems, which in fact will help your tennis. And the third and certainly not least or final reason how riding a bike can help your tennis is because cycling engages many of the same muscles that you use in tennis. The glutes, the hamstrings, the quads, the calves are both utilized biking and in playing tennis. When you load up for your serve, what comes to my mind is really loading up with the quads and the glutes. Well, many of the great cyclists that I've ever been around have very large quads, very large glutes. So by riding a bike, you're going to strengthen those lower extremities as well as your core. And in the long run, you're going to get to the ball faster. You're going to be more stable on the ground and you're going to be more explosive in a safe manner. 
Okay, well that concludes part one of this three-part series. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, drop them below. That's only gonna help us help you with your tennis fitness. Also, we are giving away a free gift. That's right, a free gift. If you click on that link in this video or down below, you will receive the top five biggest mistakes that tennis players make while trying to implement a cardio program into their tennis program. So, don't forget to subscribe, smash that notification button so you receive all the latest and greatest news and videos from Tennis Evolution. And this is Pauly P from PK's Bike Shop. We will see you in the next video. See ya.